Well, welcome again to another uh, store recap for uh, this is actually for September and October of uh, 2021. I was not here September 31st or October 1st to do the recap. I could have done it before I left, but I was busy. Uh, don't know. I went to three straight brick worlds. We're camping for 18 straight days on the road with our camper and. When we bought it, I might have mentioned in the video that that was the plan, just kind of maybe travel around to do that kind of thing, and I cannot believe it happened like this fast. And it wasn't a major trip, I wouldn't consider that. Major is like going to the West Coast and things like that, but that may happen, it may not. Uh, but we're learning a lot because it's, I never pulled the trailer before I bought this thing, so that's definitely something I learned a lot about, um, learning how to use <laughs> use a travel trailer, um, different things in camping that you just you just don't know if you don't do it. So definitely was great definitely worked out um definitely made a good amount of sales i hit the goal i wanted to hit um not the goal that i was like over the moon about that i think we could could have been possible but what i did learn is that i need a double booth to be able to hit those goals because so many people you could see just walking by because i only have 10 feet of frontage and the other when you buy a double booth you have 20 feet of frontage and more people can come and see your prices and be like wow I should buy from this guy. <laughs> so that's that's definitely something I learned, the best thing I learned from the experience. And it was great meeting Ralph. Um, if, you do, if you don't know about the brick separators on Ralph's Bricks channel, you got to watch that. Uh, I know a lot of you already watch it. I'm, I hammer it all the time saying watch it because it's just me and him talking. Um, and he has a great vlog uh, that he does about running his Bricklink store that I enjoy. He's got a lot of you know IT stuff, behind the scenes stuff on that. Or some, some I don't know about a lot, but uh, it's interesting. So... Definitely. So let's get into it. We're on uh, popsblockshop.com. I just updated um, my website, uh, deleted the Brick World of Milwaukee, and then we have this weekend. But by the time you see this, I'm not sure if it's coming out today on November 4th where I'm recording it, or it's coming out on Sunday. Don't know yet. Um, but the Green Bay Buy, Sell, and Trade at the mall. It says Ashwabanon. That's like where the Green Bay Packers are located, the Lambeau Field, but it's it's Green Bay. Um Right in the mall, awesome time, buy, sell, trade. I do a lot of trading there, a lot of buying, a lot of selling. I'm hoping to do a lot of selling. It's my last show of the year. I was going to do one at the end of the November, but I decided that's Black Friday weekend, and I'm just going to run a sale and uh, hope for the best, not not, not over overextend myself in that situation. So, so yeah, it's it's been great. Um, and I got expansions coming up. Some things are on back order um, with Menard, so I have, it's kind of on hold right now, but... We're going to get there. So let's go to the Bricklink store. I I just uploaded 16,900 parts today. So my numbers are going to look a little bit lofty. <laughs> um, quite a bit lofty. So, And the computer is running slow because I'm uploading another video. So we'll get to that. Um, but we have here it is 369,000 parts for sale and uh, 11,273 lots. I'm, I'm just up and down to the 11,000 every weekend the weekend's over I get under 11,000 but then I fight back to get it up there and uh, we're doing really well and I uh, I did not change my shipping price I really wanted to do something about this because um, I saw I saw another brick in the bucket there recap they said that they're 35 I think it is and they want to be your 40 to 45 where it feels like um, they're breaking even or you know it's it, it pushed their average order to $35 an order which mine is definitely not that so um but it's higher it's higher than the 20 so and i know this is crazy it's it is low i'm you know i'm it is what it is so what i did is i actually changed my sale price to 15 percent instead of hiring or changing my shipping price at all and that is what i that i want to do i did raise it to 495 on brick owl um for some reason my the prices things sell a little bit cheaper on there so i don't know why um the way i'm uploading it it's some sort of conversion or i have different sale prices they didn't convert I had to check into that but anyway um so we're at our website got some amazing stuff from brick world um like some of these figures you're seeing here um such amazing such an amazing haul that i had <laughs> i did not realize the value of some of these figures that i was getting for such a great deal and it was it was just a, it was awesome so a lot of those are for sale on bricklink because i just didn't want to take the time that the prices were pretty um the same as on ebay and bricklink so most a lot of them are on bricklink um and a lot of them actually already sold, so, which is great. So anyway, so let's get into the numbers. We're going to go to um, our expense report, which 
I don't know how much I really want to go over this. It's just here it is. It's, uh, just shows you how much it takes to, to run a, a store. And when I go over um, our sales, it's just BrickLink and BrickAll. I'm not putting the eBay stuff in there. I did do I'll do that January through uh, June of this year. If you're if you're interested in looking at that, um, but it was just at that point I went full time, and I'm like this is showing everything that I'm money in money out. Don't need to do that. And I started this just for BrickLink uh, in the beginning to just showcase me starting it uh, by building this first Lego wall over here and um, and things like that. So expenses so in September I did stop buying sometime like September 15th because I we were getting ready to go on the road I didn't want a bunch of mail coming um, when we were, weren't here for quite a while I didn't want to just sitting at the post office so my, my inventory costs were low um, I think uh, in August they were a little higher yeah I bought a lot preparing for it in August if you see there so and, and a lot of sets as well to part out for the minifigures so we had uh, yeah, 905 in shipping, nothing crazy. Um, October, 865 in shipping. Now, we were closed for quite a few days in each month. Uh, looks like it was nine days, nine days in uh, September. Let me just check the calendar. Yeah, nine days in September and then eight days in October. So, you know, shipping is lower than normal. In, the, in August, when we were open all the time, we spent $1,400 in shipping. So... That's uh, that's a big difference there. So our expenses for October were thirteen thousand five hundred thirty-five. On the road, uh, at a certain point after the Indianapolis, I just was, I sold so much there that I'm like I need to just buy more stuff, and just, I was just camping a lot and I in the city a lot too. So I bought a lot of stuff. So there's a lot of that going on, and this and that, and um, and then I also bought a ton of stuff to finish an expansion and to start a, two new expansions. I have all that paid for. And uh, so this is all in this October. So that's that's why it's kind of high. I, I, ro I rolled into the office expense for this report. It's just it's it's infrastructure and office supplies all combined and things like that. So that's why that's so high. Um, I really bought a lot of um, storage things and uh, some shelving units and so, yeah, just a lot of stuff. So I guess I'm going down here. I bought I bought enough um, shipping labels. Uh, to last me six months because you hear about supply chain issues. I don't know if I needed to do that, but I just went ahead and did that. I spent $233. This has probably last me a lot longer than that. And I know all the thermal printer, what people are like, you can get them for free at UPS. Yeah, I get it. Uh, doesn't does, That doesn't phase me. It's just this 8,000, I think I use about 600 a month on eBay, 600 to 700 normally. So that'll last me almost a year right there so it's just i put it out there is a lot cheaper to buy at that at that rate anyway it was like, it's like 2.7 cents a label so that is nothing i mean it is something when you're shipping so much but anyway so that's the expense report so let's get over the uh actual sales report and uh let's see if i can get in here make sure i stay in the in the frame here we go so here we are, October. We obviously we were at three hundred forty thousand nine hundred fifty-three parts just four days ago, and now we're at three hundred sixty-nine thousand. So we did a lot. Um, had some help doing the, the Harry Potter buildable figures. I had ten of those sets, and that was that was really really great. So I just kind of estimated the lot to end of the month for September because I didn't really track that. So there's a couple things like I like cut it in half. This this number here isn't right, but for the fans, I just kind of cut it in half for each month so it's accurate here but anyway um so we sold 17 i'm going to over september too so i forget about that Twenty two thousand six hundred and fifty four parts sold in september we we're open 21 days so we're open one day less than october but october had an extra day in it um and october only sold seventeen thousand four hundred twenty eight now the second to last week of October I had a, an insane amount of sales and then the last week of October was extremely slow. Brick Owl I had one order in three days at one point so and Brick Owl has been very slow but I did adjust my, adjust my shipping costs I'm sure that had something to do with it and um, contemplating if I really want to do Brick Owl continue to do Brick Owl into the ne next year. Um, I think I think I do uh, just looking at the numbers but yeah, I might switch over to BrickSync uh, just to, to save that extra money. And uh, so 195 orders on BrickLink in September, 199 in October. Pretty similar for the days here. Uh, we are averaging 12.9 orders in September per day and 10.9 in October. Our average sale or order was went up to $27.35. Um, that 
that was almost a record um, for May. Um, so that was very nice. And uh, so September we brought in 5,400, October 5,500. So they were really, really similar uh, in the end for as far as the sale amount and the orders. I mean, pretty much identical. So it's just that we were open one more day. And oh, here's here's the big difference in this orders per day. Brick Owl only got 41 orders in October, but September had 75. So it was definitely not even there. For brick owl you can see the big drop off from uh september to october i don't know what's going on but it is it is strange um uh, but anyway so our our total uh combined uh with brick owl brick link was seven thousand in september and 6500 in october and i'm hoping this reaches ten thousand in november i don't know if that's possible um i have just uploaded so much stuff and i have no um i'm not be not going to be closed any days this month so I think it's possible. We've done that uh, twice this year um, in June and in March is our most most we've ever done. So um, I guess I have to look into doing a few things. I'm going to definitely have a Black Friday weekend sale and uh, that will definitely help push it up. So I think I covered it all parts. Um, we sold 19,000 in October, 27,000 in September. So there's that so for the year we sold 326,000 parts that's crazy and for the year ninety thousand dollars in combined gross this is not a net profit just how many how much money we received with shipping costs as well um so our fans uh increase from i'll just go from august 739 to 792 and we were closed for a lot of that time so that's surprising that it's it's kind of it's kind of stayed the same i was still putting out one video a week for a few weeks so that can definitely help uh gain fans as well and on eBay, it went um, 1,081 to 1,149. So that's almost like 30 a month. So, and that's usually about 40, it looks like. Typically 40 to 50 some months. So some months 30. So that still stayed stayed pretty, this pretty much the same, a little less. And then our website was 587 hits in uh, October and 808 in September. So it was 811 in August, 808 in September. So that's, I don't know what happened or I jumped up so much all of a sudden. Uh, maybe it's because I started doing three videos a week and um, I don't, I'm not sure. I know a lot of the clicks say that they're from YouTube, so that, that could be that. So I guess that is about it. Um, we're going to go back to our website here and then we'll just look at the eBay store. And um, I usually just check. I know eBay did some weird things here where they changed the storefront and I haven't really adjusted anything. Um, so we, there's our followers today. And, and then I can never look up. So I have 2,121 items for sale. And the sports cards, I haven't listed anything in quite a while. And I don't plan on listing any more other than some bulk stuff I'm going to sell off. And uh, so if I look at the listings, oh, they just they just keep going and going and going. Is there a total at the top? Oh, 1,491 listings. So that is it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. And... Uh, yeah, I just I try to be transparent and show what we're doing. I know there's a lot of other stores doing these now, which is great. I love watching some of those and seeing where they're at and just remembering where I was at. And it's still we still look back at this trip that we did and we're like, wow, I just cannot believe we could do that. And it's just a memory we just it's sinking in more and more that how how amazing it is to be able to do this full time and uh and just enjoy enjoy the ride and everyone else is coming with me, so Thanks for coming along, and uh, we'll see you, I don't know, on the next vlog. This coming soon. Watch the brick separators. Don't forget that.